What's good, YouTube? Welcome back. Today, I have an unboxing video for you guys. Yes, an unboxing, something I've never done before, something completely new on my channel. If I ever do another unboxing again on this channel, it won't be on my phone. I just couldn't figure out how to do it on my PC. I'm going to be honest. I couldn't figure it out. So when I do figure it out, it'll be on there and not my phone next time. I promise. But you already know what we're here for. I got Kingdom Hearts right here in front of me. I ain't been spoiled I haven't seen anything online about it. I haven't seen any unboxing videos. I don't know what I'm finna get. My girlfriend got me the collection. Thank you, babe. Shout out to you. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you for getting this for me. And I'm super excited. Like, trying not to look at this for like the past day has been so hard. And the fact that I can just open it now is super exciting. And on camera, it's kind of weird. So if I if I feel a little awkward, if I seem a little awkward on camera, I apologize. It's my first time like doing like you know to talking to my phone type of thing. Tell me if I'm doing all right in the comments, you know stuff like that. So let's get right into the unboxing. Okay, so this is the setup we got right here. Y'all can see my little AC over there in the corner. Right now, I'm recording the audio on Audacity just in case I want to overlay the audio for this, just in case I don't really like you know the phone audio for it. I have it recording just in case. Got this right here. Got my PS4 right here. This is the setup I'm working with. And then we got the PC down here. Thank you, mom, for copying me the PC. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Shout out to moms. But this is what we're here for. Right here in this small little box. We are going to unbox this Kingdom Hearts. I'm going to just call it a collector's edition. That may not be what it is. But that's what we're going to call it. Let me cut and try to get this box open for you guys. And we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. The tape is off. I'm super excited. Like, oh man. Okay, let's just let's just get into it because I'm tired of waiting. I haven't seen anything. Let's just let's just open this up. Get this out the way. Get this out the way. Y'all need to see that. This is what we're here for, ladies and gentlemen. The Holy Grail. Kingdom Hearts Deluxe Edition. PS4, because you know that's how we rockin'. No Xbox out here, but one day I'm, I'm going to have to get an Xbox, you know, for my Xbox people. But this is what we're here for. So we got the Kingdom Hearts game, Deluxe Edition, which is going to sit there right over here to the side. Hopefully y'all don't see my toes. We got some little stickers. We'll get, we'll get a look into those one by one in a second. Don't know how many stickers are in there. And then we got the figures. Now, let's just move this out the way. These are the figures. I'm not going to lie. A lot of people don't really like the Toy Story art for the figures. I like them myself personally. They're pretty nice. Now, first things first. I'm trying to... I don't want to get demonetized. F you, Donald. Because you don't do anything for me in the game. But, let's just, let's just try to get a better... I don't know if you guys could see me. This will probably be better if I put it down. They look good. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if I want to open the box yet. I'll probably leave them in the box for a little bit. Because I don't know. I kind of want to just keep it as like a collector's type thing. Like, I don't know. I don't think I want to unbox it. I don't think I want to open this. I know that's what you guys are here for as an unboxing. But as a collector kind of thing, I kind of just want to keep it in the box. So we might just keep it there. But what we will open is this beauty right here. Okay, we got a little pen. I'll take it. I'll take it. But I'm ready to open this up. So I'm going to cut again because it's kind of hard to do this with one hand. I'm going to cut again. We'll be back in a second. And I'll have this open. Okay, so now I have it open. As you can see, the game is right there. The steel book. I know we got an art book too. So I think I'm going to pull it out one by one. Okay, maybe I'm going to have to slide it out. I'm probably going to have to slide these out. Let's try that. Let's try sliding it on out. Okay, that one falling. We're just going to set that aside. The steel book is beautiful. Oh my goodness. The steel case is so nice. I really like this. Now, is the game in here? Let me see. No, this is just the extra case they give you, basically. Because you get the steel book case, and then you get the normal, the normal version of the case, too. I like that. I like that they did that. It gives you an option of which one you want to rock. I'm here for it. Now, this is the base game. As you can see, I will be playing this today on stream, so be there or be square. It's going to be a long day. We're going to play a lot of Kingdom Hearts, so y'all better be there. Now, 
we got the little book. I'm not sure what's in the book, actually. I didn't really see what's supposed to be in here. I think it's just, like, pictures of the, like, Keyblades and stuff, maybe? Doing this with one hand is very difficult. Sora's Journal. Okay, it tells you, like, it has, like, the characters in here, characters' names. We got Kyrie, we got Riku, Goofy, Sora, Donald. Different action poses. We got Mickey. Organization 13. So basically, it's just like a little overview of what's in the game and stuff. We got some Art of the Keyblades. These look really nice. I'm not going to lie. These look really nice. I'm so excited to play this, guys. You have no idea. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for the book, really. So let's close this up. This with one hand is kind of difficult. Now, the stickers, I doubt you guys want to see because, you know, they are just stickers. But if you guys do want to see them, am I, I going to have to open this up with two hands? You know what? I'm going to open this up with two hands. We're back. We have the stickers out. The stickers are actually really nice. We got Twilight Town. We got San Francisco, Metropolis, or Monstropolis, Toy Box, Kingdom of Corona. I, I like these. I like these a lot. These are some really nice stickers. I don't think, like I said, most of this stuff is probably not even going to get used. I'm just going to like keep them as like a collector's thing. And I know what y'all going to say. Why is your shit dirty? It's not dirty. It's just, it's, it's a stain. Kind of, not, not even really a stain. It just won't come out. It was like that when I got it. Don't judge me. But that's really it for the unboxing. Honestly, we got the steel book. We got the art book. We got the game itself. The figures once again. Let me display those again. Super nice. Honestly, God, I got them. Be they looked better than I thought, too. So I'm excited about that. Now, uh, let's get into the review part. Because it's sort of like an unboxing slash review kind of thing. Do I think it was worth $260, I think, almost? For the normal person that's never played Kingdom Hearts or, you know, never really experienced it. Like when they were younger, played it when they were younger up until this point. No, I don't think it was worth $260, but for a person that's been waiting, like, what, 16 years for this game to come out, I think it was, because it kind of, like, like I said, it's basically like a collector's edition. You get the figures, you know, you get everything that most collector's edition comes with, the figures, the game, you know, added extras like the little uh, art book, uh, the pen, you know, that type of stuff. So I feel like in that case, for, like, older um audiences for kingdom hearts it's worth it but if anyone that hasn't played the game or experienced it from like the beginning i would suggest just getting like the normal version of the game it just makes more sense for everybody to just you know you could save your money not have to spend all that money just for you know some figures and you know the little added extras but if you wanted to get like the steel book and stuff even if you're not like a huge like fan of kingdom hearts if you still wanted to get the steel book you could get the 79 dollar version i think it is basically anywhere um, in my case, I feel like it was worth it. I enjoy it a lot. I'm very happy that I got it. I'm very happy my girlfriend got it for me. Um, and yeah, basically that's about it. Uh, I would suggest getting the game, even if you've never played the game before, just get like the base version of the game. It's a really good game. Uh, I would highly suggest playing Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 first. That just makes the most sense because you really wouldn't understand the story if you didn't play Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. I guess you could play the other ones too. Nah, no, 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 no. Forget that. See, you see how I watch my language there? Play all the games. Play Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts 2, Birth by Sleep, Dream Drop Distance, you know, all those. Play every single one. If you want to, you could watch the little cinematic ones that they have on... 1.5 and 2.5 that'll really help you, you know get a grasp of like the story and everything that's going on to help you understand um but i feel like everybody should get the game because i'm just a kingdom hearts fan and i feel like everybody should experience what i'm experiencing because it's pretty amazing and yeah but that is going to be it for the videos ladies and gentlemen thank you guys for coming into the channel and watching i appreciate everybody that's supporting me helped us get to 1k recently we're super hype and I hope to see you guys in the live stream today. Please come. The more the merrier. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love y'all. Peace.